from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And I'm still tracking that low pressure system. It's still rotating to the south of us and that's going to keep moisture around. I think we're going to see lingering sprinkles through the evening hours and some early morning drizzle and fog. The good news as we head into the afternoon, I'm expecting some clearing and that's going to allow temperatures to climb back to where they should be. We only got into the upper 60s this afternoon, so uh, very unseasonably cool. No one's complaining compared to the 90s here, but another front will bring rain chances back into the view as we head into your Sunday. So there's a lot of dry time. You just have to plan your weekend accordingly. Let's start with what we're tracking for tomorrow, and that is that low pressure continuing to glide offshore. Notice it's going to take most of the moisture to the south of us, but I think we'll see some early morning drizzle still lingering. Cloud cover still around, so it's going to be a dreary start to your Saturday. But as we head into the afternoon, we start to get breaks in the clouds. That's going to linger through the second half of the day before we start to see things clearing out heading into the evening and looking at our next advancing front for your Sunday. But getting out the door tomorrow morning, grabbing a bite to eat. Not bad, 66 degrees. Just be prepared for it not to be sunny out there. But as we head into the afternoon, your brunch forecast gets better. We're talking about temperatures climbing into the 80s as we see breaks in the clouds. And then that game night forecast where everybody is heading to the casino or maybe to a friend's house to play a little bit of spades here. Temperatures gradually falling into the lower 70s. I think we're partly cloudy at midnight, 69 degrees. A good night for shorts. Unfortunately, we're going to be tracking another front that's going to bring that rain chance into your Sunday. The first half of the day starts off dry, partly to mostly cloudy, but as we head into the afternoon, we're watching that front start to build in from the west. That's going to bring those afternoon shower and isolated thunderstorm opportunities to our region before that front slides through and it sets us up for a pretty nice Monday. But heading out the door, I'd have the umbrella for those isolated showers through the afternoon, thunderstorms through the early evening, and then we're looking at sunny skies as high pressure builds just in time for the work week with temperatures climbing into the 80s. We're actually going to hit 87 degrees for your Monday. Another front returning to the forecast for Tuesday. That's going to bring a chance of showers into our region, and this front is going to kind of reinforce some cooler air. So I think we'll fall to the lower 80s, but more importantly, those dew points are going to be in the low 50s. So it is going to be very nice to be out and about on Wednesday and Thursday, but that southerly flow is going to take back over by Friday, and we'll see highs returning to the lower 90s.